Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a great day. Today's video is something that I wanted to do for a very long time and that is how to sell clothes or any items online like a pro. Um, these tips can help anyone out. Um, most of the things that I sold was clothes, shoes, and unused makeup, but you can still take these tips into consideration on when you are selling your own items online. So the platforms that I will be talking about is Poshmark and Macari. Those are the platforms that I use and I made over $4,000 in like six months I was saying because I had a lot of stuff. I was a little hoarder back then. So I had quite a few things to sell. So anyways you guys I really hope this video helps you guys out on selling your stuff that you do not no longer need anymore or you have no use for. So if it does make sure to throw a thumbs up down below. Do not forget to subscribe if you are new here and also leave a comment down below if these tips have helped you out with selling your used items on Online. So without further ado, let's get straight on into the video. So when it comes to selling, the number one thing you want to do is make sure the item that you're selling is washed, cleaned, and make sure it looks presentable. And if it doesn't look presentable, if some if you won't buy it the way it looks, then what makes you think that someone else is going to buy it? So what I did when I was selling all my clothes and my shoes, I cleaned my shoes up really nice. I wiped them down. Um, I washed the clothes and I also steamed or ironed them. I don't remember back then. I think I ironed them because now I have a steamer. But whatever you guys want to do, iron, steam, you want to make them look like they are new again and yet someone else is able to wear them. Not just that, you it's kind of mean to sell things that are not washed or that are really, really worn out because, I don't know, I just feel like you're trying to make money, right? So you don't want to do bad business. It's just not cool. And um, that doesn't reflect on the items that you're selling. It actually reflects on you. So if your items are all trash, like like they literally are not, they're all worn out, the, the sweaters that you're selling or have holes underneath the armpits and you didn't show that, it's not gonna come back to the clothes, it's gonna come back to you and no one ever is, is ever gonna want to buy an item off you again. The next thing that I want to tell you guys is to take aesthetically pleasing photos of your items. What I used to do back then is I would have a hanger, I would hang up the shirt on the hanger, I would put it either somewhere like on my door in my old bedroom, I had a little hook on the door, I'd put the shirt on the, the um, hanger on the door and I made sure it was all nice looking and I made sure I did this in daylight so it had really great lighting. Um, I used my iPhone back then. I will link down below an app that helped me enhance the photo a little bit with when it comes to the lighting to work with the lighting so I'll link that down below it's actually called photo wonder and I've been using the app since like 2013 um, I actually use it for my thumbnails um, for YouTube but if you guys want me to do a whole in-depth video on how I make my thumbnails or stuff like that leave a comment down below but before I did YouTube and things like that I actually used that app to sell clothes so it definitely helped me make my dark photo look brighter and vibrant and it made the color of the shirt actually stick out more. So you definitely want to download um, photo editing apps to enhance the colors of your items because yes you guys can see me with this bright red shirt right now only because I am using a um, EOS camera so it kind of has like an HD effect but if I was to record back onto my iPhone the camera quality wouldn't pick up the brightness of this sweater so um, the camera qualities are all right with the iPhone. I think they're getting better, but they are not what you see. So it's not like reality yet. Another thing that I can say on in order to sell things really fast is do not be afraid to make bundle deals. I remember on Poshmark people would make bundle deals like they will add things in their cart and they'll ask you all right if you're selling each shirt for $20 and someone asked you can I buy both of your sweaters for um, 35 or 31 I would say yes because you can't be afraid to make deals because you have to keep in mind you're not gonna get money you're not gonna get money back that what you paid for. Say you paid thirty dollars for the sweater 
and you're selling it online for 35 you it just doesn't work like that if you think that it's gonna work like that you're gonna get really disappointed with selling things because I was like that in the beginning and nothing was selling until I started having these little um, I made basically my Poshmark and my Mercari I don't have those accounts anymore because I don't have anything to sell because I'm a minimalist now but I would have Basically, it was like a store that I would have. Um, Wednesdays was my sale days, and I would put everything half off, and things just started flying out. Um, every time I got a deal, like every time someone offered me a deal, I would say yes, or I would also negotiate as well. So do not be afraid to negotiate deals or to make a deal during the week when it comes to selling your items, whether having a BOGO Tuesday sale or, you know, just make it fun you know and do not be afraid to lose out so in your mind you're probably thinking well I'm gonna lose out on twenty dollars well so you can think of it this way if you lose out on twenty dollars for the BOGO sale you just did what if that person tells someone to go to your store and someone else go to your little closet online you're most likely to gain 20 customers so I'd rather gain 20 customers than gain twenty dollars because you never know what those 20 customers are going to buy. Another thing that I can suggest you guys, this is not something you have to do, but this is what I did back then, is that I ordered all the same packaging for my things um, and I did it with a little discount online because when you order in bulk, it's a lot cheaper. So what I did was, even though I was selling like crazy, I decided that I'm not going to put things in random boxes or to ship them out. Um, I ended up purchasing, um, I ditched the tape, I ditched um, the shipping labels, all that stuff. I ended up purchasing the, uh, what is it called, like those shipping bags and they were in a hot pink color and they come with the strip of tape on it already so I just peeled that part and folded it and also I changed my shipping labels to sticker shipping labels. Um, back then I had a printer and I had like a whole setup going because I had a lot of things to sell when I was beginning my like minimalist journey. So ordering things in bulk, if you know, if you are selling cr like crazy, um, ordering the same packaging for things is it looks a little bit more aesthetically pleasing and it looks like you care not only to make the money but you care about the customer and also I would add in a few little touches I would make my own little thank you cards or you can go to the dollar store and buy little tiny thank you cards they have um, and I put like shop again or come back again and I ended up having um, I used to have an earring obsession back then and I had I bought in like a hundred to five hundred pairs of earrings from um, shop miss a because they were a dollar and I ended up cutting them out of the little boxes so it was like one pair in a little box and I ended up putting it into each package for a free gift and that actually boosted up my ratings like crazy. So just adding a personal touch, whether it's a thank you note, a little free gift for saying thank you for purchasing from your closet, uh, they really appreciate it. Customers really appreciate when you put thoughts into the packaging and all that stuff. And also, I'm gonna link down below on where I bought my little sticky things. Um, hopefully I can find them. I know it was a couple years back I did this, but I did purchase them off Amazon, so I'll link it down below if you guys wanna check it out. Another thing that I can tell you guys is to be your own advertiser. We live in an age where it's awesome, so where you can just post something either on Facebook, on Instagram saying, shop my closet, tag it, and bam, a bunch of people are gonna see it and probably shop your closet. So you can also do word of, word of mouth where you can tell people at work, people at school, and maybe people will know someone that's looking for a new outfit and you have something that they're looking for and then bam, it's probably sold. So that's exactly what I did. I told everyone at work that I was selling all my stuff and they didn't want me to ship it to them so I actually brought it to work and I sold, I wanna say majority of my purses, I sold at work in the parking lot. I had a bunch of purses in the trunk and I just sold them all. I think I went home with like five to $600 that day. And I had a good like 50 pur purses in that uh, trunk of mine. So a word of mouth works awesome as well. So the apps that I did sell on was Poshmark and Macari. Now back then when I first started this, Macari did not charge to use their site. So I made a lot more money with Macari than Poshmark. But I did heard recently that um, Macari does charge now, which I kind of knew that was gonna happen. But anyways, 
those are the two sites that I use. Um, you can also use Let Go or little sites like that, but I didn't use those sites because I didn't want to meet up with random people. Uh, I kind of feel more safe when it's just shipping. So uh, it depends on your situation and what you feel comfortable doing. But the sites that I use and I made the money from was from Poshmark and Macari. So please keep that in mind. I didn't use anything else but those two sites. And I did a link. The money that I got, I actually linked it to my savings account. So once when it reached like a certain amount, it would go straight into savings. I didn't even look at the amount of money I was like making because I was so focused on just selling and being a really well seller to the customers and caring a lot that... At the end of the month, that's when I would check how much I made. And I was blown away that this is what kicked off my savings. But anyways, you guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video. And I really hope this helps you out with selling. Um, I wish I had my profiles to show you how I did it back then. But I have nothing to show you. Because I did this like three, four years ago. And it was an awesome journey. It was, um, it was the one thing that actually... It was one of my main hobbies. I was like a hustler back then. And till this day, I feel that the more dedication and the more work you put into something, the more you will receive. So don't just take a picture of something and post it on the internet to think that it's gonna sell. You need to take your time with it. You need to edit it. You need to try your best to care, even though it's not an item that you don't want anymore. So anyways, you guys, everything that I said, I'm going to try to link it down below. I'm going to link down the editing app. I'm going to link down um, the apps that I did sell on and also what I use to ship the items out in. And that is about it. So that's all I have for you guys. I know it was a very simple video, but that is how simple I kept it with selling things. Um, if you guys are having trouble selling and this helped you out, please let me know down below. So anyways, you guys, I will catch you in the next video.